In this video, we'll discuss about business rules in the model driven application. Inside the business rules, we have components as well as properties. Inside components, we have flow and actions. Inside the properties, we can define the conditions and we can add the rules inside it. So to create a business rules in the model driven application, we have to click this business rule option in the menu bar. Once we click this one, here we have new business rules option to add or create a new business rule. So I'm not created any business rule in this form. So uh, it is showing you don't have any business rules. To create a business rule, I'm clicking this one. It will open another window. Inside this window, there is a condition which is already added here inside this window. And in the right side menu, you can see components as well as properties. Inside the components, we have flow and we have actions. And uh, the flow is, uh, it is a condition and you can add multiple conditions also. And we have actions, actions something like you can able to show the error message, you can lock or unlock the controls and you can work with these recommendations and you can set a field value and you can set a default value as well. And you can set a, a business required, uh, which means you want to make that uh, field as mandatory or not, you can do that from here and you can set the visibility as well. And inside the properties, you can define the uh, things like, for example, I have added a action from this component. And if you want to define that properties, you can able to define here, which is a condition. Uh, it's showing uh, which is a new condition. And if you want to change like any, any name, you can able to change. And uh, here the entity is the table name. And here we can define the rules that we'll see. So we'll take a scenario here. If if this vendor ID is empty and I don't want to enter anything in the vendor address, but if the vendor ID filled, then I want to make this vendor address as a mandatory field. To do that, I already have a condition. So inside this one, I'll change this one to set vendor address mandatory and uh, entity we cannot able to change here and here we have a rule the source is entity entity or entity is nothing but a table and the field i'm taking this one as like uh, the vendor id if the vendor id contains data if the vendor id contains data then i want to set vendor address as a mandatory field now it is okay now i am applying this one i am going back to components inside components we have set business required so in this business rule if you add it here which means if this condition satisfies then this side actions will execute if this condition not satisfies which means if it is returning a false statement and this side actions will execute so what i'll do is i'm I'm dragging this and I'm dropping here before dropping if I drop outside of this one it will not take but if I drop here here in this plus symbol it will take and if you want to add this thing from here also you can able to add so that I'll try so before that I'm deleting this set business required and it is asking for the confirmation if I click this plus I can able to see the flow and I can able to see the actions as well here we have add set business required if i click this one we have plus symbol here we have plus symbol here if i click here it adds here if i click this side it will add here so now i, I have taken this action click on it and you can able to see the properties inside properties again we have display name which is a new action and if you want to uh, change it set mandatory and after that here the entity and which is business required which one is business required vendor name now vendor vendor address we want to do that and here by default which is not business required i'm changing to business required if if i click apply now here here we have a text view concept a text view window here uh, we can able to see if vendor ID contains data and then set vendor address as business required. 
So this is the business rule. If you add anything automatically in the text view, you can able to see that, uh, you know, text view like uh, it is showing this condition here and what's going to happen after that it is showing here. So we have a couple of other options also here. So once we complete this business rules, uh, if you want to validate, you can click this one and you can able to see this validation successful. And uh, once you completed this business rule, you can able to save this one. And now it is processing. This business rule will save. But here, now it is processing, it is saving. We are not given any name. So that's why it is taken new business rule. If you want to change the name, you can able to change from here. And I'm changing this as vendor. address as a business rule and description is always optional if you want to add the description you can able to add i am saving this one once it is saved and you can able to see one more option also which is called activate the activate means once you create a business rule will not apply directly to the firm it will apply once it is activate only otherwise it will not apply to the firm it just shows but it will not apply to the firm and here we have a scope for example if you want to apply this business rule to the entity or a table and you have to take an entity but you just want to apply this to all firms or if you want to apply this to the main firm which we are working the information firm you can able to apply this one from the scope so we'll discuss this one in the upcoming videos as well now this is done if you go back to your contract management farm i'm clicking this business i'm closing this one i'm trying to open once again but it is not showing this is already saved i close this one i'll save once again and then i'll close this one which we are we are already done and um, i'm again going back to business rules still it is not showing i'll try to refresh this one and we'll see what happens I'll just simply save and publish. I'll try to refresh this one and we'll see the business release coming here in this form or not i click this business rules so here which is showing only show only active business rules and I'm, i i just unselected it now we can able to see this business rule which is a vendor address and if you click this one you can able to edit from here and you can able to delete as well and now what I'm doing is I'm selecting this one and it will open another window and here the status is inactive the scope is contract management which is the complete entity and the referred columns are two columns if you want to see you can see vendor address and vendor ID and if you want to edit this business rule you can able to edit but what I'll do is I'll just simply activate this one and I'm clicking done now the business rule is activated and again i'll save and publish this one so meanwhile i'll open this one uh, i'll open this uh, uh, what i'll do is i'll duplicate this one first we'll play the application and we'll see so in the app we have this cms and i'm selecting this The play is not coming here we'll try to open we'll try to open this form from the table To see the farm, we have to go to the new 
item and here we have new form so here now the vendor id is empty now i am trying to enter the data uh, which is a test entry and uh, this is only the mandatory field now this is not a mandatory field if i click save and close it automatically saves and close the data and which is done now i'm again trying to open this form here i'm entering another test entry here i'm giving one to three as a vendor id and when i enter this one to three now you can able to see the red star mark in the vendor address if i try to save and close a vendor address is a required and must be filled in now you can able to see the error message if i remove this one for example it does not contain any data which is not a mandatory but initially i entered so that's why it is showing that as a mandatory field if i entered this one as a like some address and then if i click save and close it automatically saves the data and which is closed again if you try to open this one initially this is not a mandatory field if you have any data then if you come outside you can able to see this vendor address is a mandatory field so this way you can able to create a business rule and you can you can publish that and that will work based on the condition and based on the action which we added so we can able to set up more complex business